Hi, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home, and I want to talk about a pool house, uh, why I like to build a pool house, where to put a pool house, and the benefits, pros, and cons. We actually did an addition onto the garage here, and this is going to be the pool house for the pool. Uh, we didn't want any noise. We know how the pool pumps can make that high pitch wee noise, and it can be very disturbing. We wanted to keep that inside. But best of all, that makes for a lasting quality to the pump. A lot of times I'll see pools where they'll just put the pool pump out in the middle of nowhere with no covering and you'll see all this white PVC just turn um, purple and it starts to get oxidized and get some UV damage over time. Why do that? If you can cover it and it's not that bad of a cost to cover it, get it covered. And if you can enclose it, even better. But if you do end up putting a pool house, the best place to put that pool house is right up against the house, right up against the garage. And why? Because we are going to be putting pool solar on this home. I'll explain that in another post. But I need to be uh, have those lines. We'll have some PVC lines that will go up through the roof and connect into the uh, garage roof on facing the east side of the roof. And we're going to put pool solar. That's going to extend the life of this pool, meaning the heating to seven months of the year. So they'll only need to heat that um, maybe three to five months of the year. In January, they typically turn it off other than the jacuzzi. Meaning you're not gonna have to expend all that energy to heat that pool. We're gonna use a solar system that's a pool solar system to heat that pool. So it really cuts down on your cost. I'm gonna do another post on that. I'll show you the functionality of it and the whole layout of it. But the pool house, you want it really up against the house, up against where those lines are going to go. If you do want to put pool solar on, make that a, a priority. Don't put the pool house some far away place. Put it where you're going to put some pool solar. The other advantage is that you've got maintenance. You're going to extend the life of all your PVC piping, keep the noise out, and it's, easy. it's just an additional shed so I can put some rakes and all kinds of miscellaneous stuff inside here. Um, but we did put a pool house on and we actually put a window on it over here. So we've got some sun in there. You do want to have it ventilated. So I've ordered a door with a ventilation at the bottom of the door because this can build up some moisture. So we're going to actually keep that pool house nice and ventilated. And it makes for a nice addition uh, for the home to keep it tucked away, keep it protected and keep the maintenance down over time. So think about it. Think about a pool house. If you end up putting a pool in, we'll do some more updates on this down the road. But keep it where, if you're going to do pool solar, put it right next to the building. Find out where the layout should be, and you can save yourself a headache. Thinking in advance of all the technologies, all the opportunities that you want, and at least if, if you don't have the funds for the pool house, at least put all your piping where you eventually want it, and then put it on after the fact, down the road. Uh, I've done that many times. Uh, so think about that. This is Keith Kelch talking about pool houses with how to build your own home.